So in this video, you'll learn how to change the theme of your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. So the first step is to just navigate to the theme store. Now you can do this by long pressing on an empty space on your home screen. And then from here, you'll just tap on themes or you can just navigate to the settings app. And once you're in settings, you're going to scroll and select themes. Once you're in the Galaxy theme store, you'll then see all the themes that you can now apply onto your Z Fold 7. So go ahead and scroll through the different themes that are available and then find one that you'd like to use. So you have animated themes, you have video themes, you have black, blue, purple, all sorts of options. So just find one that suits your preferences and then select it. Once you've selected it, you can then see a preview of how it would look like on your device. If you're happy with how it looks, you can tap on download and simply wait for the theme to be downloaded onto your phone. Once it's been downloaded, you're then going to select apply and then wait for the theme to be applied onto your Z Fold 7. You can see the preview of how it would look like on your lock screen as well as the home screen. So you'll just tap on done to save the changes and then the theme will be applied onto your phone. Bear in mind that the, some themes are only specific for the, either the lock screen or the home screen. So you have to keep that in mind whenever you're locating your preferred theme. So let's try and find a theme that suits the whole phone. Something like this. And tap on download. And then select apply and wait a few moments as the theme is applied onto your Z Fold 7. Once it's been applied, you'll then be redirected to the home screen and you'll see the new theme has been successfully applied to your Z Fold 7. You can also choose to check how it looks like on the lock screen as well, just to get a feel of how the theme is. And so that's how you can change the theme on your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.